Coast for the Con Air here at CypherCon. We're starting early. Uh, make sure you come on down because yesterday, last night during CypherCon, the line was actually all the way around the Civic Center. So come down and make sure today, if you're in the Lake Charles area at the Lake Charles Civic Center, today I'm starting off with author interviews. Morning, ladies. This is Tess Barnett and Michelle Kay. There they are. And can you tell us a little bit about yourself, what you write, how to find you online, that sort of thing? Yeah, we, um, I'm short. <laughs> we, we write a combination of gay romance and also um, like dark uh, urban fantasy, things like that. We've done some horror, we've done some uh, YA. Um, you can find all of our stuff at Corvid with an R. Like Cor a bird. <laughs> like a bird. Corvid House Pub. Not COVID. Corvid. Not COVID. COVID, COVID ruined it. <laughs> CorvidHousePub.com. Um, all of our books are available on there. Um, yeah, that's about it. You can see our pretty book covers if you want. <laughs> awesome. So Got many, lots of boys. So many pretty boys. <laughs> yeah, we talked last night. Uh, we have a panel today at 11 o'clock. We're going to be talking multi-genre authors. Yeah. So that's in panel room five for those who are here and listening. Um, but how did you guys get started in being authors? Uh, we had no choice. <laughs> writing fan fiction in middle school. Yeah. Writing stories about our anime husbands. There yeah. you go. And then we got tired of writing stories about our friends who kept being like, uh, I wouldn't act like that. And I was like, well, too bad. You're not you anymore. This is my character now. For real. So, so who does your covers? Uh, we have a, a loving of different them. people. Um, the, these ones over here um, are done by a great guy named Jake at jcalebdesign.com. Definitely um, check him out. Yeah, he's phenomenal and he's a darling. Um, and for the romance ones, we actually find a lot of our people at conventions. We try to change up who we use for different series and different books and stuff like that. Yep. Um, we also find them on Tumblr or um, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. Um, we just find people whose art we really like and we message them and say, do you want to wanna do book cover? And they're usually like, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, is there anything you guys would like to add besides come down to Lake yeah. Charles? Come, yeah. come see us if you're in the area. We're, we're here, we're going to yammer at everybody all yeah. day anyway, so yeah. we may as well yammer at you. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. And stay tuned for more interviews today live at CypherCon and the Lake Charles Civic Center. We'll see you later. Good morning. This is CJ, one of your favorite co-hosts for the Con Air here again at CypherCon at Lake Charles Civic Center. And I ran into some interesting creatures this morning and I just had to stop and say hi. So hi ladies. These are the ladies from Geared Up. Tell Hello. us who you are and who you are. <laughs> who you are and who you are. Yeah. Well, my name's Amanda. I run this little circus. <laughs> It's live. It's all good. We are uh, currently, what I, the, the booth here has steampunk accessories to stop on by if you like that sort of thing. We are currently cosplaying. I don't know if you if you know the web comic Lore Olympus. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. But we are Hades, Poseidon, and, and Zeus. Zeus. So how long did it take you all to do this? About an hour and a half. Yeah. Good. Just the makeup. Just the makeup. Just the makeup. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. So you were up at like. Five. Five this morning. Yeah. yeah. Six. Okay. Yeah. Well, the show us what you, you got down here. Okay. Right. Cool. Well, we have everything from lanyards to put your work badge on. We got pop sockets. These are resin cast. We got jewelry. We've got bookmarks. Uh, and we have Scully here. Scully is going to be entered into the charity auction this afternoon. Awesome. So you can have a chance to take Scully home. So, how can people find you guys online? I have an Instagram and I have a Facebook. It's going to be under Crafty Panda S W L A. There are many Crafty Pandas, but only one from Southwest from Louisiana. Southwest Louisiana. <laughs> there okay, that was now really I cheesy. got that. No, yeah, I got that it. Was awful. I didn't get the S W L A, so right. now I got to understand it. So awesome! One more time, you guys are geared up, and you are. Up. I am Amanda, aka the Crafty Panda. Megan. That's Megan. Katie. That's Katie back there. <laughs> awesome. So come down and see these lovely ladies after all. They took all the time to dress up for you. Come on down to CypherCon here at Lake Charles Civic Center, and we'll talk to you later. Hey, y'all. It's one of your favorite co-hosts for the Con Hour here at Lake Charles Civic Center. I'm CJ Peterson, and we're doing this morning selfie style. So today I'm here talking to Miss Ashley Gates, artist. Tell us a little bit about yourself, how to find you online, that sort of thing. Oh. I um, I create fantasy art and um, semi-realistic anime, and I make magic tokens and stickers. Um, 
I'm actually local to around here, um, based out of Sulphur. And um, I do have a website, it's amgashleygates.com. And my Instagram handle is ashleygates, just one word. And uh, yeah, give me a follow or like some of my stuff online. So how do you do it? Because I know you have a computer. Do you freehand this um, or do I you I do freehand and... all of it. Um, but my, um, my digital stuff I do in Procreate. And then, like, I work a lot in inks, watercolors, oil, acrylic. Like, I like switching out my mediums a lot. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. And how long have you been doing it? Uh, pretty much my whole life I've been doing art. Um, but I started doing it professionally, like, three years ago on my own. And before that, I was a graphic designer for the local newspaper here. Okay, awesome. So they can find you online at what? what's your website? amgashleygates.com Okay, so you can find her at amgashleygates.com um, Come down and check out the local talent here at Lake Charles Civic Center for SciFacon and we'll see you later. Hey y'all, it's your favorite one of your favorite co-hosts for the con hour, CJ Peterson and we're here at the Lake Charles Civic Center um, in, for SciFacon. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little bit early morning. And I'm here with Drumlin from BC Studio BC. Good morning, hey. sir. How's it going, guys? Found some more local talent. So check it out. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, how you do it? So this is, I am Dreblin. I'm part of Studio BC, which is traditional art for modern geeks. Uh, when you go to most cons, you see a lot of prints and a lot of copies. We do not do prints and copies unless they are asked for. These like, are all original, handmade he is works. is legit doing one right now. Mm -hmm. so, so we got a little bit of a, so a little mini right here, a little bit of Surf and Pikachu action going on. Mm -hmm. But... Generally, our main concept is that we don't think that people should have to pay a high price for handmade actual works of art. Mm -hmm. So uh, with my skill set, I'm very fast, I can produce very quickly, and I also sell at a very reasonable price. So hopefully you guys come on down and we can make some kind of deals, or you can partake in any of the other lovely artists that are here. Okay, and how do they find you online one more time? Uh, online, you can go to studiobcart.com or you can reach me at studiobcart at gmail.com. Awesome, and how long have you been doing this? Uh, I have been a working artist uh, for about 10 years now. Nice. And, uh, but I've been running things online and doing the con scene more recently. So that's been going on for about five years. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time. Sure. Um, so make sure to come on down, like I said, and check out the local talent. These guys are like crazy good artists down here. So come on down to Lake Charles Civic Center for SciFacon. We'll talk to you later. This is CJ Peterson, one of your favorite co-hosts for the con. Now we're still here at Lake Charles Civic Center for SciFacon. It's their 10-year celebration. And while we're here, I ran into this gentleman, Mr. Chad, and he is from the Sinister Emporium. And his stuff looks really cool. Thank Can you, you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, it's all resin, latex masks. I got started in the haunt business. Yeah, my little friend. The, this is the good guy. You don't want to meet the bad guy. Uh, <laughs> so I got started about six, seven years ago working in haunted houses, and that kind of like led me into wanting to design my own stuff. Did a couple short films and commercials and stuff, nice. and it's just I didn't really like being on set. So it's like I'd rather just sit back, get in my shop, and you know make everything myself, and just have them come by to me. I don't have to deal with directors and PAs like oh we got to do a complete turnaround on a blood shoot that oh, you got to no. redo so it's like ah it's just too much hassle so I just got started doing this and I mean I love doing this I get to come to conventions and sell my stuff and meet everybody that's kind of similar and so how long does it take you to do something like this well with with this kind of stuff the it's uh, designing it and then a lot like uh, the resin pieces and stuff that's like the more organic stuff I hand sculpt and that could just take a couple hours mm -hmm. and depending on like how detailed it is. The resin stuff is usually detailing it on a program like Fusion or ZBrush, Fusion 360, print it out. And the majority of the work is usually a cleanup where you prep everything, get it cleaned to ready and I make silicone molds. And then the actual casting, it's just the cure time on the resin. So I mean, all together it can run like two to three days from design all the way up into a finished product. Well, you've got quite a lot here. You've got some with LED lights, you've got some with the ultraviolet type stuff on it. What else do you have down here? Uh, a whole bunch of little jewelry box pieces, pendants. Uh, the little jewelry things sell well because I mean, not everybody can afford the big ticket items sometimes. So I try to make everything and make a diverse thing, but I still like to go a little dark and gothic with everything I design. So 
<laughs> everything it's your from, style. You yeah, just enjoy it. I mean, I, t I try to break out, but I mean, every time I end up designing it, it usually takes a dark turn at some point. <laughs> So how much would be like the little guy on your shoulder? This is not for sale. This oh, is he's I, adorable. Uh, I do. Uh, you need to do more of him. Well, this is this is made from a friend from Sao Paulo. Ah. Uh, I do like haunt conventions, like where trade shows, and uh, I know a guy from a company in Brazil, like down there from South America, and they came up and this is something they make and they don't make them anymore so nice. this is like everybody asks me it's like where can i buy that and i was like you can't can i buy yours no you can't it's like it's so and i can't physically do so how can people find you online if, they're uh, if they go to facebook just look up the sinister emporium i'm literally the only one there so it's like if you see that it's me okay and hopefully i get the website running better because i lose myself in this and my social media just needs to get better so it's it is what it is but but they have like different examples of what you Oh yeah, got I got pictures up every everything like that. And then you can contact me and I do custom work and one offs and everything like that. And since I make everything, everything up here is customizable, so any paint job, any effect, anything anybody wants, I mean just get in touch and it could definitely be made. Awesome. Well thank you so much, Chad, uh, for your time. Talking to Chad from the Sinister Emporium here at Lake Charles Civic Center with the CypherCon. I need my caffeine this morning. With CypherCon, and they're doing the 10-year celebration. Come down and celebrate with us today. Hey, this is CJ Peterson, one of your favorite co-hosts for the con art here at CypherCon at Lake Charles Civic Center. We took a little bit of a break, but we're back now. So, still doing them selfie style, because our partners in crime are back at the table. And look what I found. So, yes sir, who are you and what do you do? Uh, I am Vice Admiral Randolph Allen with the uh, the International Federation of, Trek of Trekkers. Let me say that again. International Federation of Trekkers. I am um, also there, a chapter uh, captain of the uh, USS New Orleans, based here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Not here, here, but here. Right in the state. Yes. And uh, what we are doing is that we are here to promote Star Trek fandom, and also remind people of some issues that are going on here in Louisiana, like uh, the recovery from Hurricane Laura, which mm -hmm. has happened here a couple of years ago. There is still roofs, by the way, that are being worked on, so they're still de stuff being taken care of. And we are also reminding people of the tornadoes that we happen to have in our neck of the woods in southeast Louisiana, not to mention recovery from Hurricane Ida. Mm -hmm. So we do a quite a bit of gathering of donations on our website, which is www.trekfederation.com slash donate. You'll see all the causes there. If you see the one for Iowa tornadoes, that's also going to the tornadoes down here as well. Awesome. Very cool. Right. Well, thank you so much. Is there anything you'd like to add before we... Sure. I'd like to add two little things. Uh, one thing is that we're also taking donation for the Ukrainian refugees. Mm -hmm. the, the Federation's official stance is that we do not like people to suffer. So we are trying our best, trying our best to raise awareness and funds to help those in need. Some of them will be coming here to the United States. Uh, like any other organization. And the other is we are also uh, locally trying to encourage uh, interest in funding and promoting of uh, building a monument to Benjamin Sisko in New Orleans. Because nice. he's, he's the future <laughs> native son of New Orleans. Yes. I love it. Well, thank you, sir. You've been a treat to talk to. Thank you. Appreciate your time. So for those in the Lake Charles area, make sure to come down to CypherCon. They're celebrating their 10 year anniversary this year. Come celebrate with the rest of us and you'll check people around and see you later. Hey y'all, it's one of your favorite co-hosts for the con art, CJ Peterson. Again, we're still here at CypherCon celebrating their 10 year anniversary at the Lake Charles Civic Center. <laughs> we're doing interviews selfie style today. So look who I found here. He's one of the gentlemen from the 501st. Remember, we have interviewed the Houston version. This is one of the Louisiana groups. How are you doing today, sir? Doing well. How are you? Awesome. Now, who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name is Jeffrey Corbello. I'm a member of the 501st and Rebel Legion. Uh, we're a worldwide Star Wars costuming group. Uh, we make movie quality costumes, as you can see, and then we do charity work. Uh, so this weekend we're raising money for the Calcasieu Women's Shelter. Awesome. And we've got a big old raffle full of Star Wars stuff. So they can come by here and they can Absolutely. buy tickets for raffle? Tickets are just a dollar and uh, all the money's going to go to the charity. And we're out here having fun, taking pictures with the kids, taking pictures with the big kids, having fun. <laughs> now you guys do stuff throughout the year as well though. Absolutely. Uh, we, we do any charity that needs a little extra oomph, a little extra publicity. Uh, make a wish foundation we do hospital visits mardi gras parades st patrick's day parades any kind of fun event that that needs a little uh, attention 
So how do people find you if they want to maybe join you or see what you're about online? Absolutely. So you can go to 501st.com or rebellegion.com. It's two separate organizations, but we all work together to make the same kind of product. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. No I really appreciate it. Y'all have a good Are one, you guys. Are going to say hi there, sir? He does talk. I've heard it. So thank you guys for coming. Have and thank weekend. you guys for watching. We'll have some more interviews coming around for Cyphercon on their 10-year anniversary here at Lake Charles Civic Center. Stop by and say hi. Hey y'all, this is your favorite co one of your favorite co-hosts for the Con Hour, CJ Peterson, still here at Cyphercon celebrating their 10-year anniversary. And I found some interesting characters right here. And they are the Week in Geek radio show. Tell us who you are and what you do. All right, so we are a geek show that's on the radio. But we're based out of New Orleans on News Talk 99.5 WRNO. Awesome. And then when we're done, we host it as a podcast. You can download it on Stitcher, Spreaker, Spotify. I got a YouTube channel for some ridiculous reason, but the iHeartRadio app, iHeartRadio. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we're, we've been on the air for nine years now. Nice. Uh, and uh, we do video games, comic books, movies. We get a lot of guests like, uh, uh, I don't know, I, we, we actually have a bingo card of people that we've interviewed because I've forgotten and I'm not trying to be an, an a-hole or anything like that. I just can't remember anything. Well, and so, Elvira, you had oh, Elvira oh, on yeah. recently. You had Jamie Lee oh, Curtis. We got Fun fact, speaking of Elvira, fun fact, my real name is Cassandra Peterson, same as Elvira. Shut, Shut up! up. Yes, oh, it is. Wow. I, so I won an LAB award, Louisiana Association of Broadcasters, for my nice. interview with Elvira because it was she wrote her tell-all book and she came out and it, it was funny. I was just like, I'm like, I'm not surprised by this. You you know, you're like <laughs> this icon of like feminine strength and nonconformity. Like, what's surprising about that? But. On an offhand comment, I was like, is it true that you took Sammy Davis's glass eye and put it in your martini? No way. She goes, no. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. She goes, but it's worse. She goes, I wish that was a story. I was a Vegas showgirl. I went down to Tijuana, bought a glass eye, and on the, 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 on the stage as a Vegas showgirl, I take the glass eyeball, tape it to my nipple, and swing it around. And Sammy Davis Jr. was in the audience. And she goes, they, he came backstage to talk to me. She goes, I wanted to die. I wanted to crawl under the dressing room table. But he came up and said it was wonderful. He goes, you're not only beautiful, you're smart. And so it, it, it was just, it wasn't even in her tell-all book. I got a story on accident by asking you a dumbass question and bada bing, bada boom. And he wins and you've a heard it here. I got an award for it. That's but, awesome. Uh, there, I guess the, the bar is low. I'm not sure the bar is low. But uh, yeah, no, we've been doing it for like nine years. We've been coming to cons since, I don't know, I'm 46. So I've been doing it since I was like 13. I've been doing this a long, long time. So do you guys have a website where people can find you? So, <laughs> funny you should say. Now, as always, I want to strongly urge you to check out our Facebook page. Facebook.com forward slash The Week in Geek. Check out our website, but probably not TwigRadio.com. But definitely follow us on Twitter at Twig Radio and the Instagrams of The Week in Geek. Hey, Scungy, how can people listen to this show? Well, if you forgot any part of tonight's show, or if you want to hear your favorite part again, you can always find us on Spreaker and download Spreaker for your smartphone or tablet. We're also on Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, and that wonderful iHeartRadio. <laughs> There you go. This Sundays at 7. The gentleman from the week in Geek. And they actually talk faster than I do. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> so thank you, gentlemen. We appreciate your time. Absolutely. Click subscribe. Wait, are you, how do we follow you? We, we, we got to follow you now. Tell we us. We are The Con Hour. You go to right. theconhour.com. You can find it. You go to our Facebook group. Da -da -da. Um, but in the meantime, there will be more interviews coming to you soon from one of your favorite co-hosts of The Con Hour here at CypherCon in Lake Charles. Civic Center, come down and say hi, and we'll talk to you soon. Hello, this is CJ Peterson, one of your favorite co-hosts for the Con Hour, still here at CypherCon. We're celebrating 10 years, and we're now at the Lake Charles Civic Center, and I'm doing a couple interviews, selfie style today, because my partners in crime are still at the table, and I ran into Mr. Kevin Kurz, and he does something, we've seen a lot of different type of illustrators and artists, but he does actually oil paintings. Oh, and I just saw one I happen to know that I'm going to love. <laughs> Right there, in case you missed it. Is that Voyager? So, uh, that's the Enterprise, yeah. So, How's Mr. It going? Kevin, yeah. can you tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do, where to find you online? Sure, absolutely. So, I do uh, oil paintings. Uh, these are all oil landscapes that I've done. Um, the originals are all back here. I also have limited edition prints of everything as well. Nice. Um, everything, uh, I'm based out of Atlanta, Georgia. And so, I come to CypherCon every year, and uh, it's always a, always a great con. 
Um, but everything is available on the website. Uh, the website is artofthenerd.com. Uh, you can buy all the originals, you can buy limited edition prints, that kind of thing. Um, and so, yeah, that's... Uh, well, most artists, we always ask, do you do commissions? I do commissions, absolutely. And they can get a hold um, of you on the website? And they can get a hold of me on the website. Uh, just let me know what you're looking for, kind of the size, that kind of thing. And I'm happy to happy to work with you and, and try to try to figure out how that would work. So I see the Disney thing back there. What is that? Yeah, so I have a, a, I have a lot of different series that I do. I have my Happy Little TARDIS series. Yes, is what I started and with. Doctor Who fan in me is going. Yeah. My Happy Little TARDIS series is a uh, Bob Ross inspired landscapes with a uh, TARDIS in each one. Oh, and I've been doing one that right, one for the longest. One right so there at one, the top. One right up here, uh -huh. exactly. And then I have my Wizard View series, which is Harry Potter. Um, Landscapes and Which I have is my over there. Whomping Willow through all four seasons is kind of back there. Nice. And then uh, the one I've been working on most recently is my Happiest Paints on Earth series. It's my uh, Disney series. I have both on um, on um, from the parks as well as from different different movies as well. So like the Baby Yoda so back I have, there. Like the Baby Yoda. I have my newest one is Lilo and Stitch right here. Your house. Um, yeah. And so I have different ones like that as well. Awesome. So yeah. So how long have you been painting? Uh, I've been doing oils for about five years. Nice. Uh, I was doing acrylics and um, and photography mainly uh, before that, um, but I, I really needed a doing photography and working at a computer all day and then coming home and having your hobby be sitting computer. in front of a computer editing was just not not ideal and so being able to do oil paints and actually you know get have a tactile kind of um, hobby and, and, and work on that was great and oil paints because they take so long to dry um, it worked really well with my schedule because I just you know I had a, I have a couple kids and it was easy to sit there and be like I'll paint for a little bit go help with them. Pray they don't throw Cheerios on it. Right, gone. exactly. Yeah. Come come back an hour or a day later and be able to continue on. And so awesome. oil works perfectly for me. Well, these are gorgeous. So I really well, appreciate you, you taking much. a little bit of time to talk yeah, to me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so again, they can find you at artofthenerd.com. Yep. His name is Kevin Kurz. Yes, he does do commissions. So make sure to stop by his booth and check out what he's got. Um, in the meantime, I will see you all in a little bit. I have more interviews and we'll see what happens here at SciFiCon celebrating their 10 year anniversary at the Lake Charles Civic Center. Bye. Hey y'all, this is CJ Peterson, one of your favorite co-hosts for the Con Hour here at SciFiCon where they're celebrating their 10 year anniversary at the Lake Charles Civic Center. So make sure to come on down and say hi. But look who I ran across. Hi. <laughs> You're going to have to have you pronounce your last name, Miss Sarah. Uh, so my name is Sarah Wiedenhoff. And I am a voice actor. I do mostly a lot of anime. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I am here at Cypacon right now, and it is a lot of fun. So how can people find you online? Okay, so I am on Twitter under Sarah Wiedenheft, and I'm also on uh, Instagram under Cryptic Mink. It doesn't follow suit at all, but <laughs> it's fun. So that one's not close, but okay. Yeah, and I'm also on Twitch, um, where I'll do a lot of uh, streaming for gaming, or I'll do art, or nice. like this and that, uh, under Swedish. Okay, uh, nice. Which is like my first letter of my first name, and then my last name will play on that. That's cool, I never even thought of that. Yeah. So which characters have you played? Um, so uh, the most well-known ones are Toru from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Zeno from Dragon Ball Super, Charmy from Black Clover, uh, and let's see what else. Oh gosh, my brain is doing this part. Oh, yes, also Foss from Land of the Lustrous, which I am obsessed with this new art. And, That's very cool. Yeah, and then Suika from Dr. Stone. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your time because I know you're a very busy person, and this is the first time I've not seen a line at your table, so yeah. I thought I'd jump in and ask. But thank you for joining us, and thank you guys for watching. We will check you out later. I'll have some more interviews here at SciFiCon celebrating their 10-year anniversary at the Lake Charles Civic Center. Come down. Have fun. For the con hour here at SciFiCon at the Lake Charles Civic Center, make sure to come down, first of all. And second of all, I'm here talking to Miss Susan Lee. And she, as you can see, has some very unique art. Can you tell us about who you are, where to find you online, what you do, and how long you've done it? Okay, I'm Susan Lee. I've been doing this style for about six or seven years now. I'm actually an impressionist trained oil painter. Oh, nice. And I specialize in realistic portraiture, but this pays my rent. There you go. Um, I'm a big geek firm a long time, so... Um, yeah, and this is all hand-painted watercolor. See, so, yeah, how oh. do you do this? Because I'm going to show magic. people. It's really cool. <laughs> I paint the backgrounds first uh -huh. and then draw the character. 
so I have reference to draw from, uh -huh. but I don't use stencils, it's all hand drawn, wow. and then I paint the character inside of it. So, in fact, right now cool. I have a background drawing, I just started a background right yeah, now. And it's good. In a minute I'm going to do some more work on it, but... And um, I'm out of New Orleans, so I'm usually in the French market, flea market in New Orleans. Oh, nice. So that's so an easy place to can, find me. Well, how did you come up with this idea? Because like I said, I have not seen it, and I've been to a lot of Comic Cons. So. Yeah, I, I lived in China for a year, uh -huh. and traveled all over, and saw these incredible like grottos right. where all the stone had been worn away by wind and weather. And this started with me trying to figure out how to recreate that as a watercolor. And then I got inspired by David Mack and Bill Sienkiewicz, who are amazing watercolor artists who do a lot of comic book covers. Nice. And David Mack does these incredible things where he'll do like a silhouette mm -hmm. and then a whole scene inside the silhouette. No, that sounds cool. Yeah, he did a lot of Jessica Jones, Fight Club, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to figure out how he painted. Realized I'm not capable of that. <laughs> and um, it evolved into this after about six months of screwing around. <laughs> so how can people find you online? Online, uh, Instagram is the best place to find me. My handle at Instagram is at life on its side. So two S's, life, life on, on its side. side. Um, or you can go to lifeonitsside.com and I have samples and price lists up there. Awesome. So how long have you been doing this? I uh, I've been doing this style for about six or seven years. Okay. I've only been painting about 15. Oh, okay. I started late in life. Hey, nothing wrong with that. No, and it's totally changed my as life. As long as so. you're still learning new stuff, you're ready I to go. I am, and every time I come to a convention or I meet somebody new, I find new stuff to be inspired by. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking a little bit Pleasure. of time out of your day. Again, come down here. You can check out some pretty unique art. This stuff, like I said, I have never seen before, and it's very cool. So make sure you come down and see Susan Lee. You can also go to her webs or website, website, Life on Its Side. Life on Its Side. And you can find her there. In the meantime, I'll be back with more videos and um, interviews as we get going. This is CJ Peterson, one of the favorite co-hosts for the con over here at CypherCon at Lake Charles Civic Center. See you later. Hey, this is one of your favorite co-hosts for the con hour, CJ Peterson, and we are here at CypherCon. for the celebrating their 10-year anniversary at the Lake Charles Civic Center, and I found some rather interesting characters. It's the Louisiana Ghostbusters. How are you doing? Good. Awesome. Can you tell us who you are, what you do, that sort of thing? Um, I'm Lizia Boudreau, aka Scully. I am with the Louisiana Ghostbusters. I've been here, um, been with them for about six years uh, with my husband over there. Um, sorry. Um, we are a nonprofit uh, cosplay organization. Uh, everything we do is for charity. We do conventions, parades for uh, for Mardi Gras. We do birthday parties, weddings, uh, pretty much anything. If there's a paycheck involved, we'll do it. Uh, <laughs> but um, as far as money goes, uh, we don't take a cent from anything. Um, it all goes towards charity. And it's pr uh, predominantly American Cancer Society. Awesome. So what made you guys start this? Because this is, this is rather large. I don't know if you all can see this. We've got quite a lot going on. Um, we started, uh, I want to say, if we've, been with the, if we've been here for six years, I want to say this group has been here for about 10 years, maybe even 11. Uh -huh. um, and it started with uh, two geeks, pretty much. Um, just love Ghostbusters, and they decided, hey, you know, maybe if we started a group, we started suiting up and gearing up for charity, uh, maybe it would catch on. So it did. It did. <laughs> so does that thing actually drive back there? Um, it is, but it's, it does, but it's not street legal yet. <laughs> <laughs> So people who want to find out more about you online, where would they go? Um, you can go on our website, louisianaghostbusters.com, or you can also find us on Instagram and Facebook. Awesome. Well, and, thank you. and Twitter as well. Is there anything you'd like to add? Um, are you going to call? Exactly. <laughs> There's also a massive State Post Marshmallow Man over there to go with this whole thing. It's great. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And make sure to come back. Come here if you're in the Lake Charles area or anywhere in the near vicinity for CypherCon's 10 year anniversary here at Lake Charles Civic Center. But I'm about to lose sound. So, <laughs> talk to you later. This is one of your favorite co hosts for the Connor, CJ Peterson, and we're here at CypherCon. You can see the State Post Marshmallow Van behind me that I just interviewed the Ghostbusters for. But down the table doors from us was this very sinful table. Start looking at the pictures. <laughs> this is Diana. Miss Diana, can you tell us who you are, what you do? besides the obvious, 
how long you've been doing it, that sort of thing. I'm Diana. Uh, this is my business, Diana's Cakes, Confections, and more. And I do like a pop-up uh, bakery. Uh, I set up at a lot of events all over town and at different places, and everything is fresh and homemade. Awesome. So this is a lot of food. How long does it normally take you to prepare for a Comic Con? Three days. <laughs> Three days, <laughs> Three days this week, yes. But I'm having to bake a little bit in the evenings too, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty detailed. Like there's some cool cookies over here. You can see them. So there's lots of sweet treats. So people who want to maybe find you online, how can they find you? I'm on Facebook. I have a Facebook page Diana, at Diana's Tasty Cakes, or you can find it by just searching for Diana's Cakes Infections and more. And uh, I have a call button, and you can order anytime. Awesome. Well, thank I'm also at the Cash and Carry Farmers Market every Tuesday. Very cool. I didn't even know about the Farmers Market, so you got a special ad out for them, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And every time I walk by this table, my stomach like goes, please eat me, or please be me so thank you so much for thank tempting you. everybody here thank you <laughs> and for your time in the meantime um, stay tuned for more interviews hopefully for the con hour here at CypherCon at Lake Charles Civic Center talk to you later hey all this is one of your favorite co-hosts for the con hour CJ Peterson here at CypherCon at the Lake Charles Civic Center look who I found Mr. It's John me. Swayze himself so for those who don't know you where do they know you from well, uh, they might know me from uh, such shows as My Hero Academia, I play All for One, um, Lord Death from Soul Eater, uh, Crocodile from One Piece, Gendo from Evangelion, um, Lord Death from Soul Eater, I already said that, uh, uh, Hohenheim from uh, Full Metal Alchemist, and uh, Undertaker from Black Butler. Um, the Doria from Dragon Ball, so and a whole bunch of others. There you go. Now you do more than just voice acting, though, don't you? Uh, well, I also direct. Uh, I'm an ADR director with Sentai Filmworks, and um, work there full time. And then I also have a couple of side projects. I've worked on a, I'm working on a children's book series. Uh, we did it, uh, the first one called Zeke Gets Glasses. We're working on a second one right now. Um, and I'm uh, trying to get them uh, animated to make an animated series for kids. Oh, fun. Awesome. So, for people who need to find you, where can they find you online? Uh, you can go to johnswayze.actor is my website. You can find me on Facebook, uh, Instagram. Link LinkedIn. LinkedIn. You can find me on LinkedIn. Everywhere. This is how old I am. <laughs> uh, Twitter. Don't even bother. I don't remember my login information. And <laughs> no. I really don't care to. I don't, I'm not a fan of Twitter. So, uh, but uh, yeah, so those are the two. Uh, Instagram and, and Facebook are probably the best. The most where you're yeah. normally yeah. at. Yeah. Awesome. So what do you have today for people who want to stop by your table? So today we've got so uh, a whole plethora of stuff. But it developed a very big problem. So by the time you get later on, uh, crocodile it's and all for one and Doria. And they right there. Got a couple of keychains. Like, we've got all kinds of stuff prints. Stuff. I mean, and I've got some got new metal like prints like over there. So yeah. It's like coffee to face. Crocodile and all for one. I mean, it will. I see his cigar. Yeah, they're really hip, man. They're really hip. And they're not that expensive. I mean, it's only like 40 bucks. So Yeah, he's very reasonably priced. Yeah. Really and good. a great and fascinating person to talk to. So, well, well, thank you so much for taking you. a few minutes out of your time. Trying to get to the tables here is like craziness. So seriously, come down, see everybody, celebrate with CypherCon for their 10 year, and stop by and see this guy. Thanks, appreciate all right. it. We'll take you all later as I have more interviews coming on. Bye. This is one of your favorite co-hosts for the Con Hour here at CypherCon, celebrating their 10 year anniversary. Look who I found! <laughs> it's another fangirl moment. We just did a video for a live interview, but the sound wasn't there, so she has graciously offered to go ahead and do another one. <laughs> no problem. Hey, it happens. It happens it in show business. It was very Things bad. It was painful. <laughs> so anyway, for those who don't know, we're going to try this again. What shows were you on? Babylon 5, Night of the Living Dead, probably be the two biggest things, and I was on Star Trek a lot. Awesome. So how long have you been acting? Well, you're not going to be in this frame with me. How long have I been acting? Um, I started as a kid. I had my first paid job when I was 15. Nice. I was just a little. So what was it? That was a little while ago. But what was it? What was it? It was a play called A Gentleman and a Scoundrel in a dinner theater. People ate for the performance. That's but they paid you for it. But they paid me. It's all good. Awesome. So a lot of times people say, you know, picking your favorite one's like picking a favorite child. But what was your favorite one to do? They're all so different, you know, all your jobs are different, but I love my family on Babylon 5. I love them so much, I wrote a book about it. 
so. Yes, she already booked show. Yeah, show. Oh, Must show. Sure. Show and tell. It's so called Pleasure Threshold. And this is kind of like a behind the scenes look at different sets that you've been on and worked on. It's about my five years on Babylon 5 and the shows I was doing in between, like um, Jurassic Park, Forrest Gump, all the Star so. Trek shows that I did. And uh, there's a lot of, there. Are, it's full of photos of my, well there, that's Jurassic Park, me and Laura Dern. And all my photos from being on the set. Awesome. So you're not so, going to see it anywhere else. One yeah. question that we did ask you yeah. last time was, what was the most nerve-wracking audition that you did? Auditions in general are a strange experience, but the most nerve-wracking one was um, we had been chosen by the producers of Babylon 5 as a cast, mm -hmm. and we had we thought we were coming in to compete with somebody, and we, it turns out we'd already had the part. We were we had to wait and audition for the suits from Warner Brothers. Wow. Who didn't know us at all. And it was that was really it was tense and weird, but it all worked. Yeah, it pretty much worked out. Awesome. Well I appreciate your time. For those who want to find you online, how can they find you? I'm on all the socials, just Patricia Tallman. Uh, at Patricia Tallman for Twitter, at Patricia Tallman rocks for Instagram, Facebook. I'm I'm there. I'd love to see you. I interact a lot with you with folks there. Awesome. Yeah. So if they came to your table today, what would they find that you, that you have available? Well, I, I have a few more copies of the book and I have, I don't know if you can see it, but there's, we have a few pictures. Just a few. Just a few. Quite assortment. <laughs> so yeah. here at CypherCon, this is one of the first few times, now twice, that we've caught her without a line, which is not <laughs> highly abnormal for this weekend. Most of the artists back here and the guests have had lines, so make sure to come down here and get in line to talk to these wonderful people here at CypherCon at the Lake Charles Civic Center <laughs> in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Thank you so much for My graciously pleasure. doing it My again, pleasure. and stay tuned for more interviews. Talk to you later.